When I was playing college ball one summer, I was working at camp as a student athlete and one of the other coaches there was like, hey, you're pretty good at this. Would you ever want to do it? And I was like, no, never. <laughs> like, I'll never coach. I don't want to be a coach. It's not my personality type to tell people what to do, but I've had some great stops along the way and I had an opportunity from Campbell University. That was my first head coaching job. We were really gaining some momentum. I just won our second championship, so I felt okay where I was at. And then Jackie called me. And I felt that was a huge honor. Someone that's been in a position for 29 years and ready to kind of pass the torch, and she calls me. I kind of you know, made some phone calls and did some research, and everyone I talked to was like, oh, you gotta do that. It's awesome, the campus is, is beautiful, the resources are great, and every call I had, it was more and more confirmation that this might be a great fit for me. When I first visited on campus, I took a look at our facilities, I'm like, we can do this. I looked at our roster, we have some gifted athletes. We have a great starting point, so it's an exciting thought and moment to be able to think about making this program one that can really compete in the Big Ten. The coaching staff that I did land on is amazing. Danielle came with me from Campbell, so that was a no-brainer. She's so good at how she's able to connect with athletes and just her knowledge of pitching. And then Nadia Taylor, she's a pro. She's had so much experience and it's just been an awesome journey with those guys so far. I think we're right on track. We're supposed to be already playing. We can keep having solid practices like that. I think, we'll I think I learned along the way and what I try to teach our players is your identity is not just necessarily what we do, but this is what we get to do. And we're gonna fight and learn and understand who we are. And we're gonna learn that piece of our identity. And if you don't understand it now, like that's okay, but you also don't have to fake it. You're gonna be who you are and we're gonna be great at who we are that day. I learned a long way as a coach, especially early in my coaching career. Being a black woman, I'm one of, I think, three in Power Five. So when I first got my first head coaching job, and it felt so heavy at first um, because I wanted to do my best to represent a community. And so I felt like I had to be so perfect at everything I did. But I learned that I have a community that's proud of me and supports me, and I just need to be me. I want everybody to know that you can be who you are. And that's perfect. You're made that way for a reason, and you're gonna contribute with what you have and who you are. When the selection show happens, like, there's almost no greater joy than seeing your school name flash across the screen. And I know how that feels, and I want that. Michigan State is a program that should be competing at the top of the league every year. And I think that's a place that we can get to.